The AWR VJ 101C wasn't just an experimental plane, it was a glimpse into the future of fighter jets. A sleek aircraft, 15.6 meter long with a 6.6 .6 meter wingspan that could launch straight up like a rocket, defying the need for runways. That's the magic of VJ 101C, designed by Germany to be the successor to the F 104G Starfighter. The secret weapon? Four swiveling engines mounted on the wingtips and two fixed engines near the cockpit. This unique triangular layout allowed the VJ-101C to tilt its engines downward for vertical takeoff and then smoothly transition them to horizontally for high-speed flight, exceeding Mach 1 over 1,320 km per hour at cool 20,000 feet. The first prototype, the X-1, took flight in 1963, achieving a historic feat first vertical takeoff by European aircraft that then blasted through the sound barrier. But the road to success wasn't smooth. Despite its groundbreaking design, the VJ-101C faced some challenges. Those powerful engines might have been impressive, but they craved a lot of fuel, limiting the aircraft's range and practicality. The innovative tilted mechanism, while ingenious, proved tricky to perfect. Engineers encountered reliability issues that caused program delays. Tragedy stuck in 1964 when the X-1 prototype crashed due to an autopilot malfunction. This highlighted vulnerabilities in the design and underscored the risk of pushing technological boundaries. The program persevered. A second prototype, the X-2, continued testing. But by the late 1960s, the military priorities had shifted. The VJ-101C, with its vertical takeoff capabilities, no longer fit the bill. The dream of a revolutionary fighter jet remained just that, a dream. While the VJ-101C never saw mass production, it left its mark on history. It was pioneer in the world of VTOL technology, pushing the boundaries of what aircraft could achieve.